Hello, I've got to talk to you about a little pilgrimage I did to the village of West Kington in Wiltshire back in August. This year is 40 years of men without hats safety dance. And it was a really significant piece of music for me. It was one of the first, I'm pretty sure, but I can recall recording off the top 40 and playing again and again and again. That synthy sound, I think it's the Prophet 5 synthesizer, and the joyful video which has brought me, I kid you not, a lot of happiness and joy over the years. I go occasionally go back to it, dip into it, and think, that's just a really happy time, and a really fun video, and a great sound. I found out that the video was shot in the UK quite a few years ago and thrillingly to me it's not far off a uh, major north-south run that I do from time to time but it's sufficiently on the journey so you don't really want to stop when you're nearly your destination and sufficiently close so if you're returning you don't want to break your journey up that soon. Anyway back in August I actually had the chance to uh, call in and do a pilgrimage for the safety dance, which is great because it's 40 years, 40 years since it came out. So the video has three main characters in it. There's Ivan Doroshuk, the lead singer of Men River Hats. Now, is it Ivan or Ivan? I'm never quite sure when Canadians might go all French on me. Um, so it could be Ivan or Ivan. I'm going to say Ivan. There's the jester, which is an actor called Mike Edmonds in films like Time Bandits. And the dizzy, happy, beautiful blonde lady, Louise Court, who we didn't know was Louise Court until 2013 and is a journalist. The video starts off with Ivan and Mike Vergesta bounding down through a field. They have an excited exchange next to the corner of a field boundary, um, a dry stone wall point, and then head downhill. There, there is a really picturesque cinematographically well, that's a mouthful pleasing <laughs> parting of the roads with a, a property up on the hill where mike the jester and ivan uh walk through and louise court pops up danse in the foreground happily swirling her hair and bounding um what appears to be uphill that's just on a public footpath um, according to the ordnance survey map off Shire Hill. The video then uh, moves to the hill going eastwards down into West Kington. Ivan is proudly striding his way along the lane. There's a house in the background which you can use to uh, identify the location. As they're striding down the lane with lovely, lovely, happy confidence, uh, Louise is bounding around in front of a post box, which is still there. You can use that to identify. The jester is dancing along in front of a very low dry stone wall with a bit of a mortar uh, topping. And other people are running in the bushes behind. It then goes into the centre of West Kington. Ivan, Mike and Louise then dance in front of a gate which has since been replaced, the dry stone wall repaired and you get an establishing shot down into West Kington from a point higher up on the hill. You see Morris dancers and mummers and stuff dancing into the village over the bridge and they head to a courtyard which is now in a private farm residence. So I made sure I wasn't prying and any videography and photography I did wasn't intrusive, but you can see all the locations for the safety dance video uh, quite well without being intrusive. The video ends up with like a massive happy jamboree dance folk festival in the farm courtyard, a maypole, Punch and Judy, all that kind of folk vibe. So that is my little uh, recounting of going to West Kington for a pilgrimage for the video of the safety dance in the 40 years anniversary of the safety dance. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, Men Without Hats. Thank you for all involved in that video because it's still something really special and we can dance if you want to. We can leave your friends behind.
because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine.